going on? It's your boy Sermon, the SermonsDomain.com. Young Dolph is back with his second tape of the year. It's called 16 Zips. Um, Young Dolph is someone who's one of my favorites. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, at Sermons Domain, then you know that I'm a big fan. I'm always hyping him up. I was disappointed to see that he didn't make Double XL freshman when he really, you know, he had a big hit with Preach, or big regional hit at least, and he has the following. He has the, you know, the consistency, and all of that. With that said, you know, he continues to be very charismatic on his records, and that's something that I always liked. I mean, he sticks to a lot of the the same topics, you know, money, bitches, weed, lean, you know, stuff like that. But he throws in all these, like, you know, the creative lines that you just, like, that's that was dope. You gotta, you gotta give it up to him for that. Um, one of the things that I liked about 16 Zips is that he makes Zaytoven's beats interesting. Zaytoven doesn't really have too much of a sound. I always feel like he was a very overrated producer, but he's utilized a lot from, you know, Atlanta artists and, you know, artists from the South like Young Dolph. And, you know, Dolph's lyrics make Zaytoven beats good. I mean, Preach was pretty much uh, a remake of, or the same damn beat for Shadi Lowe's I'm the Man. And he made it into a regional hit. So, you know, hats off to that guy for that. Um... I like that he kind of branched out a little bit. There's a Jadakiss feature on Addicted, and man, Jadakiss sounded like he was like hungry, and it made it made me want more from Jadakiss. But at the same time, Young Dolph, you know, definitely kept up with him. He wasn't, you know, he didn't get like bodied that bad. But Jadakiss definitely went in with his feature. Um, I didn't really care for Down South Hustlers, which was released a couple months prior with a uh, Paul Wall and Slim Thug. But I, I I appreciate the record because, again, just like the Jadakiss feature, he's stepping out of, you know, what he's usually doing. There's no two chains on this project. It's, you know, it's the same producers for the most part he works with. You know, DJ Squeaky, uh, TM88, Drummer Boy. But, you know, he, he went and did different features, which, you know, you got to appreciate that. One of the other features that stood out was T.I. on No Matter What. Um, it's good to see, you know, Dolph just... Working with new people. Um, the tape, it feels a lot shorter than, you know, usual. Like, this is like an appetizer type tape compared to, you know, uh, High Class Street Music 5. And I want to see Dolph make the transition from mixtape rapper to retail. It took, you know, you look at someone like Gucci Man. Gucci Man put out so many mixtapes and... You know, he put out albums too, but the mixtapes kind of overshadowed the albums, and I don't want to see that happen for Dolph. I want Dolph to, next project, put it on iTunes. Even if it's just like a free versus, you know, paid type of thing. You you know, just throw it on iTunes, something. Because Young Dolph, you know, he, he, he does shows, but he doesn't tour like he, he could or he should. So it's like... He has a bunch of fans that, you know, definitely want to support him, want to, you know, put more money in his pocket, but he's not necessarily doing that. And I guess if that works for him, that's fine. But me personally, I would love to see Dolph be more than a mixtape rapper. He has the music to be bigger than where he's at. And I don't want to see him get, you know, um, I don't want to see him get put into a box, get put as that mixtape rapper. Um, 16 Zips is definitely a solid body of work. I, I don't have, you know... Too many complaints about it. Um, and those are my thoughts, you know, on it. Uh, I'd love to hear yours in the comment section below. Let me know what you're thinking about this mixtape. Did you appreciate, you know, Dolph working with new people? Who was your, or uh, what was your favorite record? Um, and yeah, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Share the video and follow me on Twitter at Sermons Domain. And most importantly, thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. Until next time, peace.